In data mining for business, k-means clustering plays an important role. In this video, I will show you how to do k-means clustering in Excel. Before that, let's understand what is k-means clustering. K-means clustering is a type of unsupervised learning which is used when you have unlabeled data, that is data without defined categories or groups. K-means clustering algorithm computes the centroids and iterates until the optimal centroid is reached. In this algorithm, the data points are assigned to a cluster in such a manner that the sum of the square distance between the data points and centroid would be minimum. This is our data, which is plotted on a graph. The step one, we have to choose, we have to decide how many clusters we want. For example, we want here two clusters. So our k is equal to two. Second, randomly guess the cluster center locations. So we have to choose randomly any center locations. Number three, each data point finds the closest center. Number four, each center finds the centroid of the points it owns. Number five, and jumps there, repeat until terminated. Let's do it practically. Assume we have four variables, x1, x2, x3, and x4. And our data is collected from 15 respondents, as we have learned here. So first thing, we have to decide on the number of clusters we want. So we want here two clusters. Number two, we have to choose randomly the center location. Let's assume I am choosing number five as our center one randomly and number 13 as our center two randomly. Next, I have to use formula that is ABS observed value minus center value of cluster center number one plus abs observed value of respondent number one for variable number two minus center value plus abs observed value of variable number three and minus center value plus observed value of variable number four minus central value, enter. Now, we have to repeat the same formula for all other respondents, but if I will just drag it, this will be wrong because this is not picking up the right row, which is number 21. So therefore, I have to do a little bit adjustment here in this formula, that is simply placing a dollar sign in the line that I want to fix it. So I am fixing it so that the calculation for center, center value remain same. Now I drag. Now you can see randomly checking this line is fixed and this one is calculating for each respondent. Same, we will repeat the formula ABS for observed value minus center number two. and placing dollar sign and drag. Now here we have to place them into cluster. So these values, we want to know these 15 respondents, whether these belong to cluster one and which of the respondents belong to cluster two. We are using single linkage method. In the single linkage method, we have to choose the minimum value. So here in this case, there are two values which are similar. So we can 
choose any cluster for that if there is a similar value so for example 5 5 so I'm choosing 1 and if it is 3 3 so I'm choosing 2 any of these two I can decide but other than that one I have to choose the single linkage method which means minimum value so I have to place this one so let's say if the number values are not same so I will be placing respondent number 3 into cluster number 2 because 6 is less than 10 this one will go to 1 1 1 1 2 2 1 1 2 because 2 are same so I can decide then 2 2 and 2 so now here you can see all these respondents belong to cluster number 1 and some of these respondents belong to cluster number 2. So I have to store this information because later I have to repeat the same process so that I can reach to the saturation point. Now in the next step I have to calculate the average of each cluster so let's say for my understanding i am highlighting all those values which fall under cluster one okay and i will be calculating now the average average of one And same will repeat it for other two. So average of number two, number three, because these belong to cluster number two. And drag for all. So you can see here automatically this is changed. Now very easy. So I have to again decide which values belong to which cluster so in this case 6.13 is smaller so it will go to cluster number 2 1 2 1 this is small so 1 1 cluster number 1 2 2 6.63 is less than 6.86 so it will go to 2 1 2 2, 2 and 2. So I have to copy and paste here. Paste special. So I name it as iteration number 2. And this is our iteration number 1. So we have to repeat it until we reach to, to the termination point. So what do we mean by termination point? I have to make a comparison of this cluster. So if all these cluster values and these cluster values are same, it means that is a termination point. So you can see respondent number one is the part of cluster one here. And here, this is the part of cluster 2 so it means that we could not reach to the termination point so I will repeat the same so I will be highlighting now number 2 and then all other which are the part of cluster 1 and calculate the average average of all these selected and drag now average of the remain remaining unselected that is 1 3 8 9 10 12 13 14 and 15 and drag it so the values automatically changed and decide now this one is the part of cluster 1 1 this is 2 this is 1 this is 1 1 1 2 2 2 this is 2 
this will go to 2 and this will also go to 2 and this one 2 and this one 2 so now I have to again copy so I will copy and place here and decide on iteration number 3 I will check whether so still we can see there is no similarity because this one is going to cluster 2 this one going to cluster 3 it means we have to repeat our iteration until we reach to the termination point so in this case I am going to decide again so these will two will be going to cluster number two uh, one then cluster number two okay and all other will go to cluster one so here again average one two then four five six seven and re repeat it for cluster two okay and then again assign to the cluster so this time it will go to k1 1 2 2 1 1 1 2 2 2 2 2, two 1 2 and 2 okay and copy and paste here iteration number 4 and compare okay so now we can see some similarity one and one are same but here is this one and this two are different so therefore we have to move with another iteration so I will again go for iteration 